Gusto mo bang mag-aral ng Japanese o Nihongo? Pero di mo alam kung paano sa mag-umpisa? On this video is ituturo ko sa inyo ang step by step or guide kung paano pisahan ang iyong Nihongo. So keep on watching. Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. This is Will Sensei of Everyday Obinkyo. So for today's video, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano yung way or step by step and guide on how to start your Nihongo. So first thing you have to know before taking or uh, studying Japanese language or what we call Nihongo is we have five main different levels. Again, we have five main different levels. First N5 is focusing on basic level, followed by N4, the conversation level, the next is N3, the advanced level, followed by N2, the business nihongo, and the last one, the highest or the most difficult is N1 level, that is uh, native Japanese speaker level. So again, the N1 is the highest level wherein you can uh, make a conversation just like a native speaker. But since beginner pa lang tayo, papasok tayo sa N5 level. An N5 level or what we call the basic level, wherein the introduction of Japanese. Let's focus on first the three writing system in Japanese. Again, three writing system in Japanese. First writing system is what we call the hiragana. Again, hiragana or the mother alphabet. Focusing on three main groups. First is the basic 46 characters, followed by diacritics or yung tinatawag na with 1010 10 in maru. The next is the graphs. The graphs or the combination of two characters. The E sound and the small ya, yu, yo. The next writing system that you have to know is the katakana. Again, katakana. Katakana or designed for foreign vocabularies or foreign words. That stroke order is pointed. And katakana is the same with hiragana, consists of first basic 46 characters. Again, basic 46 characters together with digraphs and diacritics. And not unlike hiragana, katakana has a special sound reading. The next, the third and the last writing system in Japan is what we call kanji. Again, kanji. Kanji or what we call Chinese character. Okay, then Kanji or the third writing system in Japan, we have two main readings. Okay, again, we have two different readings. First is onyomi. Onyomi is what we call the Chinese sound reading. The next is kunyomi, that's focusing on Japanese sound reading. Okay, on this kanji is aaralin natin kung paano yung mga basic to advanced kanji and kung paano yung proper way on stroke order. Again, itatakal din dito kung paano yung proper way ng stroke order ng basic to advanced kanji. So now you have the three writing system in Japan. So first is hiragana, followed by katakana, and now kanji. So after that, you can now proceed to the next level which is the daily greetings. So in daily greetings natin is nakalagay dito sa my description box natin. Pwede nyo siyang bisitain and then you can write in, on your own note para ma-memorize na natin yung mga daily greetings na ginagamit natin sa Japan. The next, after the daily greetings, in order to create a grammar, we will be needing a vocabularies. Vocabularies consists of nouns, verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. So yung four, uh, four things na yun is kakailanganin natin sila to create grammar. Those basic four things like ver uh, nouns, verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. So yun yung mga kailangan natin to create grammar. The next is 
Bumpo or Grammar. So in Grammar, we have a sentence construction, conjugation, and particles. Then now you have a Grammar or Bumpo. So you can now proceed to conversation. The conversation is consists of question and answer or daily uh, conversation. So you can use that to your partner to create more grammar, to create more sentence para mas gumaling ka pa sa Nihongo. So now you have the basic and step-by-step -step format on how to uh, study in Japanese. So dito sa uh, description box natin is nakalagay yung hiragana and katakana. Okay, those two writing system in Japan, you have to uh, study first. So again, nakalagay dito sa description box natin kung ano yung first na aralin natin which is the hiragana and the katakana. So, thank you for the good work and before I end this video, so I uh, want to grab the opportunity to like, share, subscribe, and comment to our YouTube channel which is Everyday Obinkyo para lagi tayong updated sa mga videos. And uh, I want to take this opportunity to uh, shout out to RJ Tugade, my friend in Japan, to Alpon or yung kanyang TBI, uh, Lutong Pon. So, bisitahin nyo ang kanyang YouTube channel. Yung uh, master natin, yan si Black Shadow na tumulong din sa atin. And ang ating surviving Japan. So, yung si Jante ko na nagbablog din ngayon sa Japan. So, thank you for the good work. Keep safe and God bless. Otsukare sama de shita! お疲れ様でした。